this I'm just going to tag this last bit on the end. Um, one thing you need to remember is uh, this boat is not actually built to proper scale in terms of the size of the cockpit. Now, the narrower the boat becomes, the more unstable the boat becomes. So if you're going to start building your boat much longer, you need to make sure that you're taking into account things like stability and uh, the actual uh, width and breadth of the actual boat. The wider the beam of your boat, the more stable it will be, but also the slower it will be. It also uses up a lot more cardboard. So you need to kind of think about how you're going to finalise that last bit of the design. Some of you may also have uh, fairly large um, cardboard tubes and you can just stick these on the side and they will actually increase the actual beam of your boat and actually give you a bit of stability when the boat is finally in the water. And you've got loads and loads of surface here which you can use to put the emblems for your school, the emblems for your uh, particular company but remember you need to have space on there to be able to display the logo of the Institute of Mechanical Engineers. Anyway, there is the boat, uh, finally finished off with some uh, more tape around the corners, around the edges, and uh, this is a pretty sturdy little boat now, most of the glue is dried. One thing I didn't point out though was before I put the tape on properly, I removed all of the masking tape. Uh, that makes sure you get a decent seal between the uh, tape and the cardboard. Because remember, once you paint this, the paint is not going to go through that particular uh, part of your boat if it's covered with tape. So, wherever you can, remove the masking tape before you put the final uh, black tape on. Anyway, have a fantastic time and uh, enjoy building your boat. And uh, hope to see you down on the Barbican on the 11th of September. Bye for now. Now, you've all gone about building your boat, and just to give you some idea of what a full size boat looks like, this one here is around about uh, 2.4 metres long. Uh, fits inside a minibus with no problem whatsoever, and uh, as you can see, it's a fairly substantial piece of cardboard. Uh, inside, we put an extra piece of uh, strengthening across the top there, but that's your choice. Just remember, somebody's got to sit in this, and uh, the last thing you really want to do is make sure that um, it's too tight for them to sit in. Uh, the bow, we've already painted the bows and all of the splash decks, and um, this boat has been put in the water and tested, and uh, has been shown to float with no problem whatsoever. Uh, a couple of children in here will actually have a fantastic time. If you want to build this for adults, chances are you're just going to make it slightly longer and slightly wider but nevertheless you've got a good size boat here and you can see that I've actually put the logos for the Institute of Mechanical Engineers on the side. To propel your boat through the water you are going to need a paddle made out of cardboard and only tape uh, and tape only sorry this is a piece of cardboard that's just been rolled up to form the shaft and the uh, paddle face itself it's just a folded piece of cardboard. This piece of cardboard didn't uh, went into the water, and as you can see, it's all kind of puckered up. And if you're going to immerse anything in water, you need to make sure that if you've got a paddle that's going to be used, you need to make sure it's completely covered in tape. Otherwise, it simply will fall apart after about 30 seconds or so in the water. Anyway, that's it. This is what the final boat will uh, end up looking like. Hope you have a fantastic time. I'm looking forward to the adventure of... Uh, taking these boats out into the water and um, enjoy.